What's good? Welcome to Ari Roars. This is Ari speaking. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about motivation. And you know, I think motivation's got a pretty bad rap lately because people are starting to realize it's a scam. It's not really what everyone said it was. It's not really like motivational speakers. I don't even hear about that anymore because people have lost faith in motivation and I don't blame you. Motivation is really not what we need to actually reach our goals or at least not solely motivation. I don't know if you heard that train toot, but that was kind of like confirmation for me. <laughs> and if you've ever looked into, if not motivation, then what? You probably came to the conclusion that it's discipline. And then a lot of us look at discipline and we're like, I don't know about it. So I'm actually bringing those two together in this video to show how motivation can still be valuable and how it can be paired with discipline to make both pleasurable and in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> and by the time you get to the end of this video, you will come to a conclusion of how you can stay motivated enough to push through your disciplines and be consistent and reach that goal of yours. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Now, first and foremost, I wanna break down the two types of motivation. The first one is extrinsic motivation. It is about desire. That's my own kind of interpretation of what makes up extrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation comes from outside of yourself. It's based on something that you want. It may be an external reward, money, power, respect. Those are the big three extrinsically motivating things. And you know, that's not a bad thing to want money, to want power, to want respect, you know? It's not bad, it's just, I'll just, I'll get into it later. The other type is called intrinsic motivation. And my interpretation of that is that it's based on passion. It is coming from the inside of you it is something that you already have. A passion is something that's in you, right? So because it's in you, whenever you do something out of an intrinsic motivation, you're enjoying it, you're intrigued by it. You get that real time satisfaction. And that's why intrinsic motivation is always gonna be a good place to allow motivation to root from and a good kind of basis for whatever you wanna form a discipline around. But the thing about motivation in and of itself, whether extrinsic or intrinsic, is that it constantly needs to be refueled. Both types are gonna die off on their own without a foundation of discipline. And especially extrinsic motivation will die out very quickly because extrinsic motivation uses what you want to get what you have, meaning you're looking for something that's already in you, versus intrinsic motivation is using what's in you to get something that you don't have yet and something that you want which is usually just the enjoyment and pleasure but you have the passion that can transform into that so intrinsic motivation is inherently good for you but it's somewhat directionless without kind of a structure so that's why I'm going to get into discipline now and discipline is what I interpret as commitment I defined it as the training of the mind to form a consistent habit and the one thing about discipline that I think scares people off is that for everyone, no matter what the situation is, it always starts off as a burden and it ends up as a blessing. But before it's a blessing, it's a burden every time, I kid you not. You might think, oh, well, I like doing this, so I'm gonna easily fall into the discipline of it, but that's simply not true because that means you're basing that off of the intrinsic motivation behind it. But even intrinsically motivated things need discipline. There are gonna be some days when you're like, okay, I could do this today because I know I like doing it, but I don't really wanna do it. And then what? You're gonna need the discipline to get you to do it again that day. And if you are disciplined in it already to the point that you're already consistent in doing a thing, you don't even need to think about the motivation. The motivation is simply there to give you that extra little push on the days when you can't really feel the commitment anymore if that makes sense it's really just an extra fire an extra flame under your butt and an extra little bit of inspiration and the other beautiful thing about discipline is that it can be formed around your motivations it can be formed around the things that you love your passions and your desires so you're not just going to be like randomly choosing something to be disciplined at just because people made it seem like it was a good thing to do you have the opportunity to form your discipline around things you love and things you want. So take those things and 
formulate a way that they connect together so that you can build a life around it. Habits are your life. The things that you do every day are what make up you. I don't think that there's a possible way that I can make that sound correct. So I'm just going to leave it there and hopefully y'all understand. So before I get into this last really fun, I, I had so much fun um, formulating this last part, but before I get into it, I just want to kind of show you that relationship between the motivations and the discipline one more time. You have a vision. There's something that you want, right? And you have a passion. There's something that you love to do. So you find a relationship between the two. A lot of people do have the passion and desire to become an NFL player right? Because they want money and they love to play basketball. That's just a good example there. So in order to form the discipline around it, you're going to create a consistent habit that you know you're going to enjoy that comes from your passion, but it's also going to build you up towards reaching that goal. That might mean you're going to watch the game a lot. You're going to practice daily. You're going to watch a lot of film from your current games if you're playing in college or whatever. You're going to do research. You're going to interact with a lot of other players you know i don't know what else goes into that i've never considered being in the nba because i'm a girl and uh i don't play basketball i'm five feet tall so moving on i have some frameworks and sentence structures to help us understand extrinsic motivation intrinsic motivation and what i define as motivated discipline in order for us to move forward and really have a deeper understanding of how these things work and how to frame our minds around motivation and discipline in a way that sticks. So extrinsic motivation says, I want to blank, so I will blank today. In the first blank, it will be your desire and in the second blank, it will be your action. So here's an example for that. I want to help people, so I will study law today. And if you just heard that sentence, you're probably like, girl, what? And exactly, that's that's the prime reason that extrinsic motivation is not enough. Because there's not a close enough connection between the desire and the consistent action that you would need to take in order to achieve it. Can you help people by studying law every day? Yes, but there's a missing piece in between there. So extrinsic motivation alone is is kind of weak and extrinsic motivation is unfortunately the type of motivation most people are expecting to live off of but it's totally misguided and it disconnects us from ourselves because now we're acting as robots i want to be financially free i want to make six figures i want to make seven figures so i'm going to climb the corporate ladder doing something that i hate doing now intrinsic motivation says I love to blank, so I will blank today. The first blank being your passion, what you're passionate about, and the second being the action step. So here's an example of that. I love to learn about the justice system, so I will study law today. And that's like, okay, that makes perfect sense. You're gonna study law today because you love learning about the justice system. But then what? Are you even going to do anything with that? Or are you just like doing it? Like, is it literally just your hobby? And if it's just your hobby, that's fine. But there's no reason to be disciplined in a hobby. You just do it when you feel like it. So if this is something you want to build your life around, you definitely want to have a goal in place. And then in a sense, it's almost like, well, maybe the extrinsically motivated factor is kind of critical. Maybe you do need to include that desire that you have in the overall framework and structure of what your goal is, right? Because if it's you like doing it, so you're gonna do it, that's fine, but it's just all based on your mood. There's no encouragement or reason to be consistent in it. Which brings me to the last point, obviously. This is probably something you could guess I'm about to say, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Motivated discipline says, I love to blank and I want to blank, so I will blank consistently. You know, the first blank is going to be your passion, the second is going to be your desire, and the third will be the action. But we add on the consistently at the end because when you pair those two things together, those two motivations together, now you have a reason to stick to it. And now you have a system and a structure that you can build around these two things. And then from there, you can work backwards. Let's say you already have that motivated discipline framework 
you have that sentence for yourself, which I would encourage you to try and find yours, but you really have that statement down pat and you're in the consistency phase, you know, you're already broken through the burden of discipline and now you see it as a blessing, but then you do have a moody day when you're like, I do love doing this thing, but I don't really feel like it. So then you can go to your extrinsic motivation and be like, I wanna help people though. So I'm going to study law today. Or maybe you're not even thinking about the thing that you want. You don't really care what you want. You don't really care about anything. And you're just not feeling good. But then you remind yourself, wait a second, I love learning about the justice system. This is probably gonna make me feel better. So I'm gonna study law today. And that can be your motivation in that day to support the discipline that you formed. And that really just makes discipline a little bit easier. And it makes motivation actually sustainable and actually helpful. So this is something that I've never tangibly tried, but this is kind of what I've been working out in my mind. And I'm gonna actually try and form my own discipline, motivated discipline statements around all of my goals and all my habits so that I can have something to reference whenever I'm feeling down or whenever I feel like I might need some extra push and extra motivation to help me with my discipline. And yeah, all those beautiful, wonderful things. So that's it, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it and I'll see you next time, bye.